hello hi welcome back to my channel welcome back to crystal diy welcome back to learn with crystals hub on facebook and welcome back to house of crystal so anyway you're seeing this post it's still me crystal yes so in today's edition i really want us to discuss that is why i'm showing my face most of the times i don't really show my face but this particular period i decided to show my so, uh, show my face so that you will see who is saying that this is crystal i found out that a lot of people doesn't really know the meaning of saponification and curing what curing is all about so let's describe uh, saponification in layman's understanding because most times it's english is our problem yes in layman's understanding, saponification is when oil uh, mean, uh, comes together with a light solution and it forms a bar soap, right? Yes, then curing simply means drying. You're drying your soap. That is what curing is. You're uh, drying your soap, but you don't sun dry your soap, right? So, that is it. But I found out that a lot of coaches, I don't know what they are teaching to their students. And that is why you see some people having unrealistic expectations in this business, right? You see a lot of YouTubers coming and telling you, make soap and sell in the next 24 hours. Uh, uh, make soap and sell in the next uh, two days or three days. Those are clickbait. What do I mean by clickbait? They want you to come and watch their video because that is they know that that is what you want. You just want to make your soap and sell the following day, right? So this is um, if you if you're into hot process, let me start with hot process soap for example. If you're into hot process soap, for the fact that you introduce heat to your soap making, will hasten the saponification of that uh, soap, right? But you still need to air dry that soap if you still want that soap to last longer, to leather very well. If you want that soap to come, come out to a standard and you're into hot process method of making soap, yes, you will read that they will say, okay, uh, if you make it, you can sell it tomorrow. But what is the result of the end users? What are they telling you about their soap? Of that, of that, of that particular hot process method that you're giving them? Your end users, what are they saying? It's not all about I make soap and sell the following day. It's all about the satisfaction of your client. I'm not talking about people that, that are into machine production. I'm talking about people that are into handmade, ha uh, handcrafted soap like us. Yes? So, those people, after even if it is hot process that you made, let's say you're making hot process with PKO and animal fat, and you have to cook your soap. For like uh, let's say 30 minutes or 40 minutes right the soap will be strong after making that soap it will be strong but the question is let's say that you you touch that soap will it show that that soap has dried will it show that that soap has dried so if you want that soap to last longer to come up to 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 be very good you still need to air dry it that is what is cure what curing is all about you still need to air dry it for you to come up better then because you did not introduce heat to cold process you still need to leave it till four weeks but it's not much me i don't leave my own up to four weeks two weeks i started selling, selling my even a weekend i started selling my soap so even that that i used my training class there's a way I told them. I can even tell you here. See, once you soak your caustic soda and it stays in that water like, like it's not that fresh, you put it in a caustic soda. Okay, for me, I have a small bucket, right? I have a, a not a small bucket, uh, 20 liters bucket that I used to soak my caustic soda. All I do is that if anytime I want to make soap, I will go and scoop it and use it and make soap. Sometimes it will stay up to two weeks, up to a month and, and that. And the more it stays there, the more you see that the ability of that your soap irritating hand is reducing and that is why you see a lot of people saying all oh, this handmade soap it's used to peel hands or it used to do this one it's because you made your soap and you want to especially cold press i'm not talking about hot press don't quote me wrong i'm not talking about hot press if, if you make your hot press and somebody used it the following day it will not irritate the person's hand right but with the soap last would the soap look okay you still need to enjoy it at least one week or two weeks if it is uh, um, uh, if it is drying period around october november within two days or three days or even four days because you know the weather is dry your soap will just dry immediately because of the weather but you trust me that during this raining period your soap will not dry fast 
Let's just tell ourselves the truth. You use water to make that soap. And you after making that soap, you want that soap to dry in next one in next um in the next two days. The cloth that you, you that you wash, how 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 fast does it uh, dry? So the weather is also affecting the soap because this soap you use water to make that soap, and that soap still uh, that water that you use to make that soap still needs to find its way outside the atmosphere, and that is when curing comes in. So even if you are into hot process method, you still need to uh, dry your soap at least one week. Then the soap will, will, will harden. But if it is this raining period, though, let's tell ourselves the truth. If you know that this thing I'm telling you is true, no matter who is. So if you know that this thing I'm saying is true, come to my comment section and drop is true, because I know that I'm what I'm saying is truth, right? So my my own is that you need to wear uh, dry. Stop all this and make soap today and sell tomorrow. At the end of the day, your customer will buy your your soap. Next tomorrow, she will not buy again. I know a lot of people that will be giving me reviews. Hey, your soap is good though. Even the one I bought in the market, even our popularly known soap that you know everybody know. I, I don't have to come here and start calling names of uh, somebody's products. It will be like I'm tarnishing the name. Normal, our normal well packaged them um, factory made soap. They will tell me that my own lasts longer than their own. That that one they bought in the market. Then this woman, she can never use any other soap. Because if you're in your right senses, and after making your soap, you allow your soap to dry very well. Even if you use BKO, it will still uh, last longer to a reasonable degree. But some of you want to make soap today and you want to sell tomorrow. It's just like cold press process. That one is bad now. How can you make cold process soap and you want to sell tomorrow? Eh? You don't do that. Let's take for example, after making that your soap and you want to wash all the things you use to make that soap. Don't that soap irritate your skin if you don't wear gloves. That is exactly what we will do to your customer's hand if you sell that soap to them without, without allowing that soap to saponify and also to uh, cure or dry, not curing. Forget this curing, it's drying. Curing is drying. I always, I always say it, curing means drying. Go and check your dictionary very well. Curing means drying in bar soap. So you people should stop all these things. It's not fair. I don't know who is teaching you people, low, but you see a hot process. You still need to uh, dry your soap. I'm not talking about people that have that can fast. You can fasten it with using your fan. If you have light though, yes, you can use your fan. So if today is your first time of coming to my channel, Crystal DIY, or coming to my Facebook page, Learn with Crystal, or my TikTok handle, House of Crystal, please like, subscribe, follow this page, comment, tell me whether I am open to kind of um, I'm, I'm open to correction if you stop learning you stop growing so me that I'm telling you this I'm also open to correction and if what you are saying is correct my dear I'm going to drop into your idea immediately I know they waste time with good updates I will jump into it and start putting it into action do you understand I'm not the type that let me stay where I'm staying no in my house no, I don't do that even if it's small picking, I am learning from small baby too. So nobody is above mistake. But if you feel that what I'm saying is wrong, correct me with love and I will listen. And if what you're saying makes sense, I will jump to it. Thank you.